Hello friends, welcome back. In the previous section, you saw how to create your own script from scratch. As you can see on your screens, this is what we have done so far, writing your own script. Okay, so in this section, I'm going to go one step ahead and discuss with you all the various ways by which we can take inspiration from some already existing content on the internet and making out our own script out of it. One thing to note over here is you cannot use the script exactly as it is you have to make your own changes to the script make it feel like it's your own script add your own content to it add your own touch to it because otherwise what will happen you will attract some unnecessary copyright claims and copyright strikes which will obviously not help you earn some revenue out of your video right so for safe side don't copy the entire script as it is because it's unethical as well so I will be showing you how to take reference from existing videos, make changes to the content of that particular script and make your own script out of it. Okay, so stay tuned. The very first step that we are going to do is we have to find some certain uh, videos uh, or some particular blogs from where you can create your own script. So just to save your time, I have already copied a YouTube video link. I got this particular YouTube video while browsing YouTube. I found that particular video very interesting. It's uh, It talks about the future of AI, how AI is going to shape our future. That is exactly what we are doing in this video, right? So I have copied that video just to save some time. Uh, next step is you can go to any YouTube video downloaders uh, available online. For this video, I have used a website called Snapsave. Now what you need to do is, Simply paste the uh, URL of that video which you had copied in this particular section and click on download. Now I don't want you to download the video file. I want you to download the MP3 file. Now you would be asking why? Because what we are going to do is we are going to transcribe the video, copy the script out of that video and replicate it as our own script. Okay. So simply copy, simply download it. You will get the link to download download that particular file as mp3 so once that file is downloaded you need to go to your second ai website which is what we call as replicate.com now replicate.com is a very beautiful website it's a very powerful website as you can see it consists of n number of ai based tools or bundles which you can use for different different purposes or different different projects in our case, we need a particular uh, service called as transcription. Now, what exactly we are going to do is we are trying to fetch out the text out of that MP3 file, which we had just now downloaded. Okay, so I would be selecting this option that is speaker transcription. Simply click on it. And this is how the interface looks like. It's a very intuitive kind of an interface where you need to drag and drop your particular MP3 file in this particular location. So what I will do, I will simply drag that MP3 file, which we had downloaded. Uh, this is the file and drop it over here. Fine. Once you drop the file MP3 file over here, you have to click submit. It will take some uh, two or three minutes. It will start the uh, process of transcribing your uh, audio into text so let it run in the background in the meantime i will just pause the video and get back whenever it's done so the process is complete as you can see uh, there are a few options on the output section you have to click on this download button so simply click on download and a json file or json file will appear in front of you don't be afraid of it what exactly are these things technicality wise i don't know what to do with these files well don't worry this is basically a json file which has your transcription it's basically the second at which the particular speaker starts speaking okay so it has been segregated into multiple sections now i know you must be having a doubt how to make use of this how to make use of this and convert this into a script well it's very simple first of all you need to convert this json file into plain simple sa text file right so for that purpose uh, there are multiple uh, things available on the internet but as a computer engineer it always uh, gives me a little edge i have the option of creating a program to do this task right it's a very simple program it's available on the internet as well you can just go through the resources available on the internet and try to do a quick uh, google search how to convert json into uh, into text and you will find n number of resources for doing that in my case this is uh, the simple code or simple program for converting this json into a plain text file don't worry if you're not a technical person, I will provide this particular code in my description section or in the comment section. You can copy that code 
only thing needed from your end is you need some sort of a environment where you can run your python code it can be on your computer system or it could be even google collab which i am right now using so you simply need a google account and simply go to this website called uh, collab.research.google.com okay i will just show it to you from scratch because i had told you in the beginning whatever we are going to do we will be showing that from scratch okay so this is how the interface of google collab looks like if you have a google account this should be the thing that is shown to you obviously the uh, interface might be a little different depending upon uh, your usage in my case this is how my interface looks like let me quickly switch my account where this particular code is currently present so what i will do this is how it will look like simply click on new notebook and you will see something like this a blank notebook to start with notebook is nothing but the virtual uh, environment where you are going to code right so this is how it will look like now what you need to do is simply copy the code over here it's already present and paste it in the cell and you have to do certain things over here now let's get back to the uh, text uh, sorry json file which was created by the particular website called replicate.com okay so this is the uh, json file now how to save it it's very simple simply right click click on save as and give it a name in my case uh, let me give it a name as text file okay and save it on desktop or wherever you want so the name of the file is text file.json so accordingly you have to make certain changes over here in the code so now the uh, file name is text file.json so let me go through the code once quickly summarize it Th uh, this code takes as input the json file that you have downloaded and converts it line by line into a transcripted text format so it's very simple so the only thing which you need right now is the text uh, is the json file in your working environment so if you are using google collab the uh, technique is very simple go to the folder where your file is present in my case it is uh, on my desktop uh, simply drag it and paste it over here so it will give you a warning click on ok and now you can see the text file is present in the environment now you can run this code it will hardly take two or three seconds and you are as you can see before i could complete my sentence the entire code has executed and uh, a file should be present over here example.txt if not then simply refresh the folder and you will see the file okay now download it and you will see magic in few seconds so now the file is downloaded simply open it and this is how the text or you can say this is how the script looks like isn't it interesting it was previously present in something or some fashion like this as you can see it was present in this particular fashion right now whatever uh, uh, code we have written we have obtained the text file corresponding to that json file so this is what is going to be helpful to you now while creating your script so we have almost reached the end 60 to 70 percent we have almost covered now the tricky part is you have to convert this into a meaningful script that is you need to convert this uh, copied text i would say copied because it is actually a script being used by some other video right so you need to copy this first and paraphrase it so what is paraphrasing paraphrasing is nothing but it's about changing the format of your text or changing the uh, wordings of your text so that it is not exactly same as the previous uh, piece of text uh, so basically we are doing this to avoid any sort of copyright claims or plagiarism right so for doing this there are multiple tools available on the internet we have already seen one of those tools called quillbot so uh, let me uh, show you how quillbot works you simply need to go and visit this website called quillbot in my case i am having quillbot uh, premium one but in your case it might not look exactly the same you might be having access to standard and fluency and over here you might have uh, access till here if i'm not wrong so what exactly this means is uh, in the free version of quillbot it provides around 400 words of text which is more than sufficient but if you're having data in excess of 400 words you can break it down into multiple uh, parts and apply the same technique over and over again so you will be able to obtain the paraphrased text in two or three iterations if not one 
okay so now let me show you how to uh, do this paraphrasing you simply go to your script copy it entirely in my case i'm copying it entirely in your case you can break it down okay and then click on paraphrase with a fine tuning or with a little tweaking the more i go to the right the more amount of changes you will be able to see in your paraphrased text okay so right now it is paraphrasing it as you can see 12 18 20 of 38 paraphrased so it, it will uh, go on and on and on and it will complete the task in few seconds okay it's still going on so as you can see uh, there are uh, visible changes over here researchers are preparing us for a revolution that will change the world forever and on the right hand side the paraphrased text uh, contains something like by examining the future of artificial intelligence researchers are preparing us for a revolution that will alter the course of human history forever so as you can see the evident changes on the right hand side so this is what your new script will look like simply copy your script you can go to uh, a notepad or you can go to any text editor paste your script over here and then you can break it into multiple uh, paragraphs you can break it into multiple lines and as and when you feel you can give some pauses to it give some emphasis while speaking out let me just show you how to do the narration uh, quickly i will uh, i will obviously focus on the voiceover part in the next few sections but let me give it a quick intro by examining the future of artificial intelligence researchers are preparing us for a revolution that will alter the course of human history forever the time for organizations to begin adopting ai is running out since this transformation won't occur over several decades but rather in the next few years so this was just a quick glimpse of how you can create your script out of nothing so in this uh, section i had taken reference or i can say i have taken inspiration from one of the videos on youtube you can make use of multiple videos or blog articles from multiple sources combine them using any of the ai creators or ai rewriters as we saw quillbot as one of the example and you will be able to get a, a handy script for your next video so this was all about the section that consisted of how to create scripts or how to write your own script from scratch and in this section we also saw how to create our own scripts from existing scripts right so that's it for this particular section in the next section we are going to go much in depth much in detail about how to do voiceovers how to save your voiceovers and how to make them sound much much better and how to make your voiceovers sound like it was recorded in a professional studio so stay tuned and watch the next section. Thank you so much.